if you have seen my last video, I asked you to do this question of differentiating this function. <clears throat> okay. So if you want to differentiate, this is uh, a function. Or it's, this is one function and this is the other function. This is a product of two functions. So we have to use the product rule. So let me write the product rule. So the product rule is like this. If y is equal to u times v, u dot v, or u times v, y prime, which is dy by dx, okay, this is an elegant way of, instead of writing dy by dx, uh, this is nothing but dy by dx, so you should not be confused, so this is, this is a different way of writing the derivative, u dash or u prime is u dash times v plus u times v dash. Now, u dash means d u by dx, okay? And this means dv by dx, okay? So this is the rule. So let us use this rule. So let me say, uh, say let u is equal to the this first function, which is x squared minus 3x plus 7 and say I'll write v here v is equal to e to the power x so now you're differentiating this u u dash is the differentiation of x squared is 2x and the differentiation of negative 3x is negative 3 so that is u dash okay and uh, uh, this implies v dash or dv by dx the differentiation of e to the power x, you should know is e to the power x. So we're going to use these two in this formula. So, so let me rewrite the formula. So y prime or y dash is u prime times v plus u times v prime. Prime and dash are the same. I keep uh, interchanging the words. So this is, what is u dash or u prime? This is nothing but? 2x minus 3 times v. What is v? v is e to the power x plus u. What is u? u is nothing but x squared minus 3x plus 7 times v dash. v dash is also e to the power x. So for these questions, you don't need to simplify. I would like to simplify a little so that we can check our answer. So what can you factor out? If you look at these two, as calculus students, you should know this should be very pretty simple. So you can factor out e to the power x. So if you factor out e to the power x, you have 2x minus 3 plus x squared minus 3x plus 7. So let us simplify the bracket. So y dash, or this is nothing but dy by dx is equal to e to the power x you have got only one x squared then you got a 2x minus 3x gives you minus x and this is minus 3 plus 7 is plus 4 so this is your your differentiation or the derivative of the given function now as i discussed in my last video i always like to check my answer Okay, because for achieved questions, what students generally tend to do is they think they end up doing something wrong, some silly mistakes, and they end up with the wrong answer. Okay, and especially in NCEA, if you get an achieved question wrong, uh, you have to trade your excellence question with an achieved question, which can be really sad. Okay, so it's always good to check your answer. So I'm asking, so let me use a different color. So I'll use green, okay? Green is a very pleasant color, so I want to check. So I'm going to ask myself, what is dy by dx at x is equal to 0? Now, one thing you need to check at times uh, is the function defined at x. Yes, it is defined at x, seems to be. And the reason I'm taking 0 is because it's always good to check uh, with 0 because this becomes a very neat number. So this is 
you have to put zero in this uh, derived function or the derivative. It's e to the power zero times this is zero minus zero plus four. And you should know e to the power zero is one times four is four. So I'm claiming the gradient function of the derivative when x is equal to zero should be four. So let me check this on a calculator. So go to your table. Uh, first go to table and then uh, let me delete this. This is from the previous video. And again, I'll repeat to check you, your derivative function should be on. You have to go shift. I'll again go back. Shift setup. And this is your derivative is on. So I'll type in the function, which was uh, x squared minus 3x plus 7, close the bracket, then e to the power x for shift, e to the power x. For some calculators, you don't have this carrot key. So if you don't have that carrot key, you have to simply shift, uh, type in, uh, enter shift e x. Don't raise it because calculator by default knows it is e to the power x. So at zero is what? So here we go. At zero, your y value would be seven and the gradient d y prime is four. So your answer is right. Okay. Now I'll stop here. I wanted to do this question and this question uh, and I'll do I'll answer this question in the next video. So this is one question. Here yeah, you have to use the uh, the quotient rule, and here yeah, we have to find uh, read this question. I'm not going to tell you. So I'll come back and make the next video. See you in the next video.